A 20-foot-long, 3-ton predator is a hard thing to keep in a cage, but that's not the reason you won't find great white sharks in an aquarium. It's more about how their gills work. Keep watching to learn why great whites can't live in captivity. You're binge-watching Sharknado again, and the thought occurs to you, how cool would it be to see a great white shark in person, inches away from your face in an aquarium? That's not gonna happen. The fact that there are no great whites available for viewing in an aquarium at the time of this video is not for lack of trying. Efforts to open a great white shark attraction surged in the 70s, around the same time that the movie Jaws came out. None were successful. Vice says that there have been many attempts to keep great white sharks in captivity, dating as far back as the 50s. Sadly, some survived for less than a day before dying. A small great white managed to survive for about six months at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, but it was finally released into the wild after it started eating other sharks, as great whites will do. In 2016, a nearly 12-foot great white died in Japan after spending only three days in an aquarium. There are a lot of things that end up being just a lot of hype, but interest in seeing a great white up close and personal is more than just hype. Great whites are among the most impressive creatures on the planet. They hit their maximum size at about age 9 or 10, reaching lengths of up to 20 feet and sometimes weighing more than 3 tons. And that's not scary enough. Oceana USA says that they can sometimes be equipped with 50-ish teeth of lengths up to 6 inches. I pulled a tooth the size of a shot glass out of the rectal of a boat out there, and it was the tooth of a great white. The great white gill structure also means that they have to move in order to draw water across their gills to obtain oxygen, which means they need to keep swimming non-stop. Great whites are otherwise nomadic predators. The bigger they are, the further they roam, and the bigger the prey they need to consume. Despite how they're portrayed in popular culture, great white shark attacks on humans are really quite rare. Even the man behind Jaws has spoken out on exactly that misconception. That's Peter Benchley, whose 1974 best-selling novel about a great white noshing on people was later adapted into the hit film of the same name directed by Steven Spielberg. Despite this success, Benchley regretted writing the book. In 2015, the Boston Globe quoted him as saying, What I now know, which wasn't known when I wrote Jaws, is that there is no such thing as a rogue shark which develops a taste for human flesh. No one appreciates how vulnerable they are to destruction. Still, it's a great white's unrelenting appetite that remains a primary challenge with keeping great whites behind glass, along with their nomadic nature. According to Science Alerts, the great white shark's need for territory, sort of like swim free or die trying, often leads the sharks to injure themselves while in captivity as they bump up against the sides of their saltwater pens. For this reason, great whites are easily stressed while in captivity. Feeding them also becomes a problem. The larger the shark, the more complicated its dietary requirements. You ate my bird. When they're small, great whites are satisfied with smaller fish, but eventually they grow to consume mammals like seals. When stressed, great whites sometimes stop eating entirely. So with no great whites in captivity at the time of this video, is there really no way to see one for yourself? only by scuba diving in a cage per blue water travel. Don't despair, though. There are lots of species of sharks out there, according to Smithsonian. There are more than 500 known shark species, and many are available for your family to visit at an aquarium while on your road trip. There are a lot of really cool ones out there, but for many people, when they think of a shark, they picture the menacing great white, and they won't be satisfied with anything less. But maybe they just belong in the ocean. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite animals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.